setting a trap to catch a rat. It's a thankless task in one of Malaysia's many wholesale markets, where the rat population lives with apparent impunity. Noor Asli Osman has worked as a city rat catcher for 15 years. Growing up in a rural village, rodents hold no fear for him. He'd rather be doing this than trying to rid the city of other pests. His team sets several traps around the market and leave them overnight to see if they can catch anything. I've probably caught 30,000 rats in the past 15 years. I love my job. I'm helping reduce the number of rats and the amount of disease. And that's a good thing too, as Malaysia has launched a campaign to try to reduce the country's rat population. They'll pay two ringgit or 60 US cents for any rat brought to government disposal centers. There's been a spike in the number of cases of leptospirosis, a bacterial disease found in rat urine which can be fatal. Almost 3,000 people have fallen ill so far this year with the disease, which causes a variety of symptoms including fever and muscle aches and pains. Serious infections can cause organ failure. Part of the problem lies in poor street hygiene from unlicensed food stalls that set up shop around the city. Leftover food debris and trash that's not disposed of correctly makes a perfect larder for the vermin to feed on. When the food goes, food waste goes into the drain, food waste found on the floor, and that's where it attracts the rats. So if you can keep the place clean, I think we can get rid of the rats because they'll only go to a place where there is food. The next morning we return to the market to check if the traps have caught any rats. We're in luck. The bait left in the cages has snared three rodents. They'll be taken away and disposed of humanely. But it's a small victory. The local rat catchers say they snare about 20 rats each week from this market alone. But that has little impact on Kuala Lumpur's estimated 7 million strong rat population. And even the catchers themselves say they could never eradicate every animal. Stephanie Scowan, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.